The Paradise Manifesto. If you want the violence, shootings, and killings to continue, putting you and your loved ones at risk, that's easy. Simply do nothing that counts. But if you want to make a difference going forward, these next few minutes of your valuable time can save many people's lives, including your own. Please listen attentively to this manifesto and respond as stakeholder holding education accountable. In a democracy, freedom is not carefree. As Mr. T, science teacher to at-risk kids at Austin ISD, I can personally certify that our schools are ultimately responsible for the shootings going on by our exited student youth and that education should be held accountable for the killings of innocent people. If I'm telling you the malady, it's because I have the cure to alleviate our woes. Our kids are being transformed into programs, iPhones, Androids of sorts. Subliminal condition of dualism is vaccinated in each lesson plan. The shooters aren't mentally ill. The only mentally ill is education. We need to hold education accountable for the violence, mass shootings, and killings going on all across America and worldwide. I'm openly manifesting my commitment to the Paradise Formula for Recivilization for the greatest benefit to humanity, locally by running for the U.S. Senate Texas 2020 and globally by bidding for the Nobel Peace Prize. In my NPP bid and Senate jog, I'm transitioning back and forth between political philosophy, which is more, philosoph more philosophy, to poli philosophical politics, which is more politics. I beg you to bear with me. The inquiry of our times is who or what is behind the killings, the shootings. This isn't rocket science. It's plain and simple common sense. Lead, follow, or get out of the way. If no one is following us, we're not leading. And being the world's lead nation, we follow no one. Then we're the ones getting on the way of change. It's that simple. Let's then take it from the top. Where do we learn what we know? School. Inculturation sums it up. Education is the baton of culture in the race of civilization. Hatred isn't taught at school, but it is what is learned at the end of the day. The dualism of double standards is the established norm. Instead of uplifting the spirit, it's cultivating boredom, pushing students to hate and harm out of a feeling of awlessness. The admins dumb down knowledge by misunderstanding and teachers by instruction, accepting the crime done to humanity of the letter, killing what the spirit vivifies. Both are culpable agents working in tandem. One holds it down in place while the other operates on kids' minds. And meanwhile, admins lining their pockets and teachers are struggling. The humanities, instead of doing cutting-edge research solving human proneness to tragedy, avidly does college numbers. University educators are no better than their primary and secondary level counterparts. Doc Cognoscenti is letting us down. And in the public square, what's going on in politics is dubbing not deliberative thinking. By labeling, it's pulling the wool over the people's eyes, banking on human imperfection. The two-party system and their news media lobby are its cultural expression. Buzz sells, thinking doesn't. The news media is adjunct accomplice of the intelligentsia. And at the marketplace, we're competing 18th century enlightenment ideas against 19th century social and 20th century totalitarian mixed models of Red China and Rusty Russia. The fix to the American nation is a 21st century triad hybrid of universalism consisting of market, government, and university. Please view the videos for details. Let me tell you one thing. If this generation were left to dry out in the desert, it would be a huge gain for humanity. My hope is that with upcoming kids, my hope is with upcoming kids, my fear is that we've already ruined their chances. Our leadership is but a navy of lead ships. It's paradise or nevermore. My advice is that if you're a parent with school-aged kids, you should worry about the sterilization of creativity in our schools, of the black glove at work pushing our children to hurting others and feeling no remorse whatsoever, like latest generation bots. Is the payback copper rule of doing unto others what education has done unto them. If you don't believe me, Let's do an independent study and stand by the results. I challenge all stakeholders to put education on the witness stand. It's not what's taught on the whiteboard. What really counts is what surreptitiously ends up being learned from behind. Dualism is endemic to modernity, of which our educational system takes after. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Dualism is modernity, is education. This foul triad is so broken, corrupt, and misguided that it makes me want to throw up. 
please see accompanying slide. But before getting to the cure, a few words in understanding the character of the malady ailing modern schools. Let me explain it with toys in lay terms. The litmus test built in nature to determine if we have our thinking straight is if our reasoning is bringing about whole peace. If it isn't, then our reasoning is still fraught. Challenges in real life puts our thinking to the test. The signature characteristic of modernity is dualism. And in education, this trait is what's turning our youth berserk. Schools know so much, too much, yet not enough, where knowing trials would suffice. I'm not saying that education started dualism. This is generated to the civilization or cultural level, but it's doing a great job of passing it along generation to generation, bathing the baby and drying it with the same dirty towel all across the board and globally. This dualism in education is similar to lead pipe contamination of drinking water. It's a slow but sure way to deliver death instructions. Dualism makes as much sense as like having all the positive numbers to infinity and all the negative numbers from infinity yet missing the zero. Infinity of numbers yet missing out zero, which is sip, nothing. Yet out of this nothing that everything springs. How can you have anything if you're missing the beginning of everything? The zero is the pin of the hinge. Without it, you're not. It's like the way the hinge mechanism works in a door frame setup. What holds the door in place to the frame and not the hinge? Education needs to replace the pin, the hypotenuse of the triads, for society to regain composture. Triads for a sane education for our children and an end to violence and mental distraught. The laundry list is a toilet paper roll of ailments. Shooting is extreme case of dualistic behavior in youth, but bipolarity, autism and the like wouldn't surprise me in the least to be included in the same sick list. Knowledge is piped in alongside with dualism, but it doesn't have to be that way. There is another way of learning without unhinging. With youth shooting, the degree of toxicity in education is proving to be unhealthy, unsustainable. Education is unhinging youth onto mass killings of innocent people out of deranged altruistic motives. The missing hints to regain sanity is precisely the triads. Please see accompanying slide. Present day education unhinges and admins and teachers, passive and active, are the unhingers of the minds of our youth. The choice is incorporate triads or unhinge. Dualism and consequent shootings. Dualism is a pinless hinge. Imagine that. The mother of social woes is a triadless education, one without triads. The pin is the origin, zero, zero. It's what allows opening and closing, pivoting without dismemberment. Please see accompanying slide. If you're still not convinced that dualism is entrenched in our midst, then we're not conditioned that we're not conditioned to keeping things separate. How then account for the divorce between work days and days of worship? Stoking people's resentment of ordinary partisan politics doesn't cause shootings in itself any more than guns on the shelf. If there isn't something latent nuclear triggering waiting underneath for the occasion, at the base of all violence is dualism. But it wouldn't unhinge kids' minds were it not for the delivery of its instructions in the classroom. Violence takes many forms depending on the ground and time and cultural conditions in the US, Mexico, Central and South America and elsewhere, but all points in the general direction where kids get their formation. But let's end with a good note solution. History teaches us that, that lesson that is not learned, lesson that is repeated and by far. The problem is that we have 18th century enlightenment ideas in a post 19th century social and post 20th century mixed environment in America with no 21st century hybrid in sight. The choice going forward is between a re-civilization era or else one of unhinged chaos. The theme of our times beyond the reasonable doubt is how do we learn? All this was searched in my books Pardesis and Human Science 101 in 2016 and the principle of world caring 2018. Well, you learn by teaching yourself. In my humble opinion, you learn from the Torah teaching, or else. And it obviously begins at the beginning, in Breshit Genesis, 
verses 1, 1 to 2, 3 from an original Hebrew reading of the Bible creation story. Indeed, you have to know yourself in order to know how to teach yourself. One teaches oneself by learning it. Let's start by stating the teaching with capital T, which is at the beginning point of all learning. The mantra goes that we learn to read in order to read to learn. In the medium of language, there is a take-home message. Contrary-wise, we have a rimless coin situation, and this simply doesn't make any sense whatsoever. No wonder we have a crisis of civilization in our hands. Allegorically speaking, therein, at the rim of the coin, lies the takeaway sense of language. Let me explain it with apples. There's an inherent principle of meaning in language that allows us to make one whole sense out of the three parts of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In other words, sense is to the one whole as wisdom, knowledge, and understanding are to the triad parts. The truth of things is paradise, that the whole is made of triad parts. That is, that the triad parts, P-R-D, makes the one whole S, hence paradise. In this acronym, the P stands for plain, the R for remit, the D for discover, and the S stands for secret. A few selected examples should clarify things. Like in mathematics, horizontal real side P, hypotenuse R, vertical imaginary side D of a right triangle S. Or like with people, body P, mind R, spirit D of being human S. Or like in language, adjective object P, verb R, subject D of a sentence S. Or like in science, right side P, equal sign R, left side P of an equation S. Or finally, like with the ordinary change in our pockets, visible side P, rim R, flip side D of a coin S. All these align in series spell out paradise. You get the idea. Please see accompanying slide. In concluding, we do as we are made. As Hispanic, I'm contributing 21st century hybrid because we are a cross-section of all people. A little of this and a little of that. Melting pot, not mixing pot, of Iberian, Native American Indian, Semitic, Jewish, and Arabic, and a generous sprinkle of other people from near and far. And more so since coming to the United States. As for me personally, I'm speaking as targeted Hispanic, as Anusim, as actively retired science teacher, as family stakeholder, as Lone Star citizen, as weird Austinite, as homeowner struggling to make ends meet with my pensions. I'm offering an outstretched hand to all youth, tempted to hate and harm, to turn instead to paradise. The issues of education, politics, economy, health care, and so on are like trees. The mother forest issue is education. I have the calling of service to formulate the message of paradise to disseminate and the mission of re-civilization to realize. Entale la bola, no seas canica. Let's roll, don't marvel. The buzzword is re-civilization. As for shootings, we haven't seen nothing yet. Condemnation in the strongest of terms of the role of education with dualism and the violence, shooting and killing of innocent people by our exited student youth. If you agree, please give generously. Donate money and volunteer time and energy to energize this humanist world initiative from your corner of the universe. Become a leader. Share this manifesto with family, friends, and neighbors. Let's get it all started locally in the U.S. Senate race, Texas 2020, and globally with the Nobel Prize bid, Nobel Peace Prize bid as soon as possible. In a nutshell, it's either paradise, promised world, or else hell on earth. Yours truly, Rick, and GD Bless.